I just is a, a very. I saw Nick Helm in, in a very early show because he did a show with Katie, my yeah. now wife, a couple of years before that, maybe the year before that. Uh, but this is a sketch show with you, James Acaster, and Nick Helm. No, was no, 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 no. What... So that was a different show oh, I was did it? that year. So this was okay. a sketch show where Ellis was in it. Oh, okay. Wozniak. Oh, okay. Um, and people like that. Then this, Wikipedia is unbelievably. Yeah, but the incorrect. same year I did a show, a three hander with Acaster and Helm. Oh, okay. Acaster, Helm, and Whittacombe live at the Voodoo Bar that was a disaster. <laughs> it got a one star review in three weeks that was described, and that was our only review. Oh. It said it was depressing. And they were right. <laughs> it was in a free fringe pub, 25 minutes from the main festival. And I don't know whether it was a front for something. There was never a guest. No, I don't guest. Never a punter right. in the pub. And then we were in the downstairs of the pub. And it had um, smashed mirrors. It had but the balloons on the wall. You know when a balloon's been up for too long and it's like sh shrivelly? Yeah. And... In the back of the room, there was a bowl of sick. What, the whole run? The whole run. <laughs> that someone had covered up with newspaper that was there the whole run. Wow. And it was... It was someone else that month, I'll tell you that for free. Well, I that wish was I'd awful. Seen it. There's so many things in the Edinburgh Fringe where it's that, you know, when years later you go, who would... Who went, uh, the one I saw, actually did see was uh, Bill Bailey and Sean Locke doing a show called Rock, I think it was called. Where yeah. they were, they were. Oh yeah, yeah. And like nobody Wasn't went Sean to see the roadie or something. Yeah, it was yeah. a roadie in it, and no, you know, you'd go and I think one time Dominic Hot Dominic Holland, yeah, who's yeah. now the dad of Spider Man, yeah, of course, uh, was the only person in the audience. It was another comedian. They still did it anyway. And when I saw it, there might have been five people in the audience, and it was brilliant because it yeah, was those of two. Of course. And you kind of think, you know, what if you could travel back in time and go and see that? I would definitely go and see the the Bowl of Sick show. <laughs> It was so bad. It was so sad. And like, we, f we quit three days. I got swine flu. <laughs> Acaster went off to do a Christian rock festival. <laughs> and so Helm just pulled the last three shows. Right. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? And then within, a, you know, within three or four years, you were all on yeah. TV. Yeah. It was, it was really, they were, you know, we were quite good. We were just in a bad room, I think. Like, I don't know. I We, when was it? 2009? That's what you said. Yeah, 2009. Yeah, I wasn't that good at that point, actually. Okay. So we weren't that good. <laughs> um, I remember a particular day when we had a bad one in front of Acaster's parents <laughs> that will live with me long in <laughs> When I close my eyes tonight, that's what I'll be thinking about. Wow. No, no it won't be. It'll be your singular bollock. <laughs> <laughs> my bollock on a shelf somewhere. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, it's, it's gone, we've gone to a little sad place. No, it's not a sad place. It just feels like everything. Look, it's all gone settled down. Everyone's. What was the worst Edinburgh like? Did you do any early ones where, or were you straight in straight um, in Oxford, always amazing um, Cambridge Footlights? Yeah, but the review we were the, the, the but that was the second year I did the Fringe was the Oxford Review, and it was like the worst. Oh, Oxford, it was sorry. the worst uh, thing ever, really, because it, it was just at a point where um, alternative comedy had taken. Had, was in the ascendant. So what was that about? Nineteen ninety. Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. Or yeah, eighty-seven. No, eighty-eight was the actual review, uh, and we just got bullied by all the proper <gasps> comedians. So we oh, did late and live and got heckled by every comedian. Oh my god! Keith, Keith Allen came to the first night of the Oxford Review and moved Crash he's, Matter around. He's notoriously nice. <laughs> yeah, he is. That's what I've heard. <laughs> Uh, and I went, and then I went on TV to try and defend it, and then they bullied me. And Ma Malcolm Hardy and Keith Allen just bullied me again. Oh my god! And so I had a really hor that was horrible. And we, and we, you know, I was just thinking about the other day. The, I think the first performance of it, may, maybe not the same, or the first Saturday, where we'd actually sold out, and it was some. I think news review on before it was an old run. That it was yeah. like two hours late. And our pianist, who was uh, Ben Pope, who was uh, he's Phil Pope's brother, and all the guys from Who Dares Wins had taken him out all day and got him rat assed and then he came and did the show, just pissed and was playing and just like was playing oh. the piano and just like burning Fuck. <laughs> and getting on. They had a couple of bits to do. Ah, oh, and it was almost like you think this is brilliant conceptual art. <laughs> they're, they're pretending the pianist is really pissed, but it just I just remember thinking. Oh, and that whole year was terrible. Who was in your? Who was in that? It was Ben Moore. Yeah. Uh, Emma Kennedy. Uh, yeah. Catherine Hood, who went on to become a 
doctor and uh, specialised in venereal diseases, uh, and also acted in one of my plays, uh, and that man me, and think that was it, yeah, uh, yeah. So it was God. horrible. That was that was. That I wouldn't was... have gone on TV to defend myself with Keith Allen. No, that is, that is ballsy, right? Well, it was stupid, and I, but then it, but I saw some pictures of it the other day, and I looked so I looked like I mean we were children really. It's like yeah, adults yeah, yeah. are bullying children for what they perceived as being yeah. you know the Oxford Review's privilege, but we actually all went to we all went to comprehensive yeah. from Ben Pope, uh, and so it was like they were going, "You're all posh, you're all this." So Keith Allen, who went to public school, as it turns out, <laughs> was having a go at me for that. And I, he said, and, and I said, you came, you came to our show and you were drunk and you might have been on drugs. And, and he was going, oh, you punched our new manager. So just, I, knew, I could see, you could hear my oh, voice got cracking fuck, as I'm nearly I'm crying. Sorry. Oh. So I'm amazed. I go, but, you know, but then that's, I think I've got a lot to process for Edinburgh, really, which is part of the reason I'm not going back this year. Yeah. I find it, I found the kind of years of, you know, yeah. pressing down the layers of Edinburgh pressing down on you. Just trying to get rid of that Keith Allen memory. Yeah. Have you read Lily Allen's book? Not yet. No. Is it good? Does he come out of it well? <laughs> <laughs> he comes out of it very badly. There was talk of having a one. Someone uh, who worked with him said, "Can we uh, get Keith on?" And I thought, "Oh well, we'll yeah, we will." But I'm really glad I didn't because I think it would make yeah. me cry again. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, he was really. Hurt. He's just. I'm just. When I found out he went to public school, he didn't have a nice time. But when I found out he went to public school and was yeah. having a go at me for going to public school, but I didn't go to public yeah. school. I was so fucking angry about that. Cause when that did just, you find out? Right, really recently, like like about oh, four really? or five years ago. I just saw on his on his Wikipedia page that he'd been to public school. <sighs> Good that you're still on his Wikipedia page. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> well, it's probably when I was. It's probably when I was thinking of having him. Having oh, him on. right, yeah, yeah. What does yeah. he do? Is he an actor? Yeah, he's a successful actor. Yeah, he's a, and was yeah. he a, was he a comic back in the day? I think yeah, he was. In, he was. He, was he, he like was, a stand up? He did stand up, and he was involved in all those. You know, his, uh, he did a thing where he, like, he what he worked, worked backstage at a Max Bygrave show, and then walked across the back of the stage naked once. So he's on these kind right. of situationless. He gets yeah. his cock out. That's yeah, why he likes, yeah, to, do gets, that, he likes he? to get his cock out. And I've seen, I once saw him uh, as I was driving around uh, Hammersmith Roundabout, standing outside a pub on his own about three o'clock in the morning, just looking absolutely pissed. And I kind of thought, uh, it's probably, probably the best revenge is a life well lived. <laughs> 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 so I probably won't have him on. But you know, if you're listening, Keith, it's fucking It's cunt. a long shot, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if Keith Allen's listening to this, <laughs> wading through a discussion of whether Josh is coming back. <laughs> They're going to mention me in a minute, surely. <laughs> Super clump, this is my end. Here we go. Right, this is the one. 